What's up everyone, JJ here, and today I'm going to be reviewing a film camera that I recently got, which is this right here, the Nikon Light Touch 70WS. This was about 4,000 yen on Mercari, uh, which translates to about $35 uh, in the US. And it's a really lightweight point and shoot camera that goes zoom from 30 millimeters to 70 millimeters. This camera is a really good alternative for a disposable camera because it saves you a lot of money in the long run. And the reason why I got this is because I wanted to pocket it and have something that's really mobile. And it's super, super, super easy to take photos with. The reason why I say that is because this has autofocus and doesn't really have any settings other than flash and timer. So the only thing you really have to worry about is how much you zoom in and the framing. And that makes every single photo super, super easy to take. And you can just have so many photos without really caring about um, what the aperture will be like, the shutter speed and all of that. But in exchange for that, it's really hard to customize your photos and make them look in a certain way that you want to so there's no long exposure shots that you can do or overexposing, uh, which other cameras can offer. As for the looks of this camera, half of the reason why I got this was because it looks so nice and it's got like this slide feature that allows it to turn on and it has this splash that pops up after you turned it on. and. It just looks really, really nice in my opinion. I was able to put it in my pocket and just put it inside my backpack and really not care about it. Whereas with the F801, which I use, is super, super bulky. So it's really difficult to keep it in your pocket and take photos while you have a digital or if you're doing something else at the same time. And one of the best features about this camera is its flash because at night when I'm taking photos of people, it's amazing and the photos that come out look amazing and I'll show you them right now. The flash really makes that film look look really nostalgic and it really just gives a added depth and aesthetic to a lot of your photos, uh, especially at night. And if you put in a Cinestill or some 800 ISO uh, film, I'm sure it'll look amazing. But uh, I also recommend you to use a Color Plus or something during the day as this can take some really amazing photos with that as well. One thing that you need to remember when you're using this camera is that there's a certain distance that you need to have between you and the subject when taking it. So whenever it says, oh, like you can't take a photo or it just doesn't take a photo, you gotta take a step back or take two steps back so that the autofocus allows it for you to take photos. Once again, this point and shoot is really cheap and there's a reason why it's because it's a zoom lens and therefore the quality of your photos aren't gonna be as sharp as a Contax T2 or a really expensive point and shoot camera that's uh, usually just one millimeter and has a really, really sharp aperture. But um, in exchange for that, it's super cheap. And honestly, with the photos, since it's film, it doesn't really matter that much to me as I'm just trying to get that film aesthetic without having like a professional grade photo. Um, especially when I'm carrying this around, it's usually uh, when I just go on quick walks or go to some vacation somewhere and can't afford to bring such a huge camera everywhere I go. So that's what this is for for me. And if you want to get something that's higher quality, I suggest you to look around for more expensive point and shoots that don't zoom. Um, but otherwise, if you're going to get a zoom point and shoot, this is a great one to go with. And honestly, you can go with almost any other zoom point and shoot as they're all cheap and they do basically the same thing. That's it for me. And thank you so much for listening and giving this a watch. And I'll be doing a lot more reviews and other videos on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe. And also, you can follow me on Facebook. Whoa. Whoa. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok in my description. I have a link that is going to all of my links. Um, so yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.